And today we are going to say a very important topic and which is also a central theme in the differential equations, namely the power series method. That's what we are going to do in today's class. So the question therefore or a general uh, doubt that comes is that why, why the solution will be in the form of a infinite series? What is the connection between the solution to the differential equation and the power series? Power series means infinite power series. Okay, I'll, I'll go to the board and show uh, the uh, what is there in that. So, you can follow this uh, uh, blue color cursor here. Okay, so this is something which is familiar to you, what is known as the Taylor series. You can find or you already know what are the Taylor series for various functions like sin x, cos x. This is something that you need to remember for the time being so that we can proceed further and then uh, get the connection between this infinite series. This is an infinite series, remember. This is an infinite series. And we are interested to know what is the connection between the infinite series and the solution to the differential equation. Come down here, okay. And here you can see, you consider the very simple differential equation which is uh, quite familiar to you. The solution to the differential equation y double prime plus y equal to 0 is given by a times cos x plus b times sin x. Fine. And then uh, because this is a second order differential equation, we must have two linearly independent solutions. And the first linearly independent solution is cos x. Second linearly independent solution is sin x. Linear combination means adding them together. So that forms the, uh, the general solution to the differential equation and which is quite familiar to you and you already know that that is the solution. Okay, now what we are going to do is, in order to understand uh, where from the series or infinite series comes into picture, it's very simple that you can imagine uh, how the series comes by substituting the Taylor series expansion for cos x and sin x here. So right now you have a cos x here, right now you have a sin x here, right? But you already know the Taylor series for those functions. So why don't you substitute that? So let me therefore substitute here this particular expression that is this plus this that is going to be the solution to the same equation. But remember original differential equation did not change. It is once again the same thing y double prime plus y equal to 0. That is the original differential equation. Uh, we will try to merge them into a single infinite series. So uh, we will write like this. So what I am trying to do you can easily see a into x to the power 0 is first term b into x to the power 1 is second term, then come here, a into x square by 2 factorial, that is the third term, and then b into x to the power 3 by 3 factorial is the next term and so on, and then you take care of the alternating plus minus sign and that must be there correctly. Of course, you can ask the question, uh, why do you want to rearrange like this is, we have a proper increasing powers, okay, 0 to power, 1st power, 2nd power, 3rd power, 4th power, etc. So we are uh, uh, arranging in such a way that the power of the x is uh, uniformly increasing, okay? That a0 will be the first constant, a1 will be the second constant, a2 will be the third constant, and then the fourth constant will be the b by 3 factorial, and it's so on, okay? So, so like this, you can write down, we did not cut the series, no approximation, nothing. And uh, only thing is, let us make sure that uh, the small a0 is equal to capital A, small a1 equal to capital B and so on, only then it is uh, uh, it is agreeable. Otherwise, simply you, you should not forget about that. So, I will write down that what is a1, a2, etc. And similarly, you can write down the other constants a4, a5. Okay. So, a4, a5 are the last two. So, of course, I didn't write here. Here, you will have to fill it. Okay. This last two constants. So, what is the conclusion? So what do you understand from this uh, idea is that your final solution is going to look like the equation shown in the green color. So that's why I am writing in a different color. Uh, what I am trying to say is that the solution to the differential equation y double prime plus y equal to 0 is given by the infinite power series given by the green color equation. That's what I am trying to say. That's a conclusion. Okay, I will write down that. Now, once you understand that the entire green color expression can be written in compact notation using the sigma, namely the summation symbol like this. And this is what we mean to say. So, finally, what I am trying to say is that the solution to the differential equation, which is a familiar, it's not a new differential equation, right? This is a differential equation that is very familiar to you. You already used it. And now I am going to say that the solution is an infinite power series. So, the terminology is very important. So, that's what I am trying to explain. So, 
the point is that this kind of expression is known as the power series solution and uh, you should remember that the constants have to be maintained so our conclusion is this the, the one which is highlighted here is going to be the solution to the second order differential equation and this kind of solution this kind of solution means the solution appearing in the form of an infinite power series such an equation is known as or we will call by the name power series solution to the differential equation so this this introduction will give you uh, at least a good motivation to think about an infinite power series solution to the differential equation because we always get a doubt why the why the solution to the differential equation will be in infinite series why it should be in infinite series that is a question now the answer is now clear every function every function means sin x cos x e to the power of x logarithm of x hyperbolic sin hyperbolic cos any function that you take it is possible to uh, express that particular function in the form of a taylor series and taylor series is an infinite power series our purpose is not to uh, start from simple solution and then uh, convert it into power series that is not the original idea the original idea is suppose that you do not know what is the solution to the differential equation that is the important point you got the point i do not know what is the solution to the differential equation given differential equation in that situation what will you do that's what you have to think in this particular problem that is whatever example that i'm showing it is a simple differential equation and therefore you already know the solution to be a times cos x plus b times sin x that is fine you now you forget about this now if you are going to consider another differential equation whose solution you do not know then in that situation what will you do so uh, the point should be clear under why do you want to use the power series method that is a, or when do you want to use the power series method the answer is we will use the power series method when the simple techniques such as finding the integrating factor variation of parameter whatever method that you already listed out all that methods fail when that happens we will come to infinite power series method so that is a clear point and now we will apply or uh, now we will see how that method has to be uh, executed you know, how uh, i mean uh, what are the steps to uh, do that methodology so that i will now explain okay i'll probably uh, probably i'll move on to the next part of the board and then explain that